first off, the defensive backs for NC State. Pretty impressive experience, guys. What have you seen out of those guys? Um, I know they're real, they're real talented. They like to play the deep ball real well. Um, the whole secondary is senior, so we have a good, uh, a good job on our hands to like that. Get past them. Are they more of a, a team that gets up in you and, and runs man and cover zero stuff? Are they guys that, that like the zone? They play, guys? play cover zero, but mostly three deep the whole game. So um, that's basically what they play. Well, against three deep, what's what do you guys need to concentrate on and, and how to break that coverage down? Just running routes, uh, pushing, pushing our ref, uh, our depth, and everything. Specifically, I think Amerson, the, the big cornerback guy. What have you seen out of him? That's impressive. Uh, he's really talented. He's uh, six three. 194. He's a good guy, first round draft pick. So what I've heard, uh, plays the deep ball real well. He likes to go, go for the deep ball too. And obviously the last few practices, Derek's not been here and you know he's gone now. But what has that been like? Has everything been smooth and fluid? Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's been tough. But you know we have depth on our um, the receiving core, so that helps. We just got to help the new guys get in, get in the mix now since we lost a, a veteran. Are you expecting Emerson to cover you? Any idea on that? Yeah, you know. We, you know, we got something going on, but uh, yeah, most of the time I'm doing that side Yeah, what, what kind of matchup, I mean, what are the expectations? You know, kind of first round pick against a guy like you, has been projected pretty high. You know, like how much pressure is that? Uh, that's not a pressure, it's just like an, uh, another game. Just a really good corner trying to uh, come check. So. How much, uh, I'm sorry if you've been asked this before, but just going into the first game, even what happened last year with you. How big a week is this for you right now? Uh, it's a big week. You know, I haven't played since the Florida game, so it's like 10 games, something like that. Um, coming out there, I'm probably nervous, but I'm going to get a, a jitters out of me like the first play. How, how important is it a first game like this with, with maybe the, the, the anxiety and anxiousness of going in? Do you guys try to keep a lid on it emotionally and not make those mistakes? Yeah, I'm um, just going to go out there like it's a real big game and focus hard. But uh, their past defense, there, there's a lot of uh, talk about how good they are and, and the fact that they, uh, they've intercepted passes uh, pretty good rate last year. You want to talk about what you're up against? Um, yeah, we're up against a really good, talented secondary. All of them are seniors. Uh, first rounders, all of them projected to go to the league next year. Um, basically, what we've seen, like, they had a lot of good balls. They intercepted them and some of them just like, giving it to them. So we just can't make mistakes down, downfield. Do you feel like you're 100%? Yeah, I'm out here running and doing everything else that everybody else is doing, so I feel good. Is there anything you can't do now that you could do last year? No, nah, I think I'm doing a lot of things, a lot of things back there. Is there anything you can, what were you doing better? Uh, just trying to get the ball a lot better than I did last year, just trying to get feel more physical than I was last year. Have you had enough contact where you feel comfortable going into the first game that that's not an issue? I think so. I think I've been hit. Um, they haven't beat me, so uh, yeah. I think they're taking care of me. How big of a game do you see this for Tennessee to get off the good start? Uh, big game, you know, going to Chick-fil-A, Bowl, I mean, Gong and stuff. So uh, this is going to be a real, real big game. we got a good test with um, the secondaries and stuff like that. And we got a uh, good receiver. So. It's been a while since you played on Friday night, hasn't it? Yeah, it's going to be like high school, so I'm ready to go out there and play. <laughs> How are, how are you and Tyler uh, connecting, so to speak? I mean, sometimes it takes a while for a quarterback and receiver to, to get on the same page. I mean, it's been a while since you've been doing it in a game. Where are you at right with that? Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. I know we came out here today with good practice. Uh, he threw me a couple of deep balls that were real good. And he ran some of my routes, what I was going to do. So I think we're connecting real good now. Do you like the depth you have at receiver? Obviously, you lost a pretty good one. But do you like the depth that you have? Uh, yeah, I'm going in the game real confident on who we have. We just got to get the young guys back in tech, uh, get them in the mix, trying to get them to run their routes and what they got to do. Have you seen a lot of progress out of Cordell Patterson? Yeah, he's running, he's running fast like, um, like I expected. So uh, I think he's going to go out there and do real good. Justin, will you move around to different receiver spots, or are you pretty much going to stay at one position? Uh, I say I'm going to stay at one position, but uh, I'll probably move around. It's depending on the coach we got here. Vincent Dallas back at receiver. What did you see out of him? Uh, he's doing good. He's, he's at, like uh, one of the other guys that are experienced uh, in opposition, so he came right here and did pretty good. He's in the condition right Just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can I ask you, do you feel 100%? Do you think you're 100%, or how close are you? I feel 100%. I'm out here running with everybody, doing everybody else, and having that day off, so I think I'm doing pretty hard. Wear a brace right there. Nah, you know, you're not gonna see that from me. <laughs> When's the last time you wore a brace? After surgery. And then after that, they took me out of my one year, so I've been practicing without it and running without it. How much more does Derek being gone open and stuff for Michael or make Rivera more? Uh, he's a big target. He was a big target last year and also uh, this year because we're gonna need some more, uh, some more veterans out there and help other in, in the field. How important is it that you guys are able to run early to take the pressure off the passing game? It's real important. If we have a good running game, I think it's open up the passing even more than they did.
addressing any any nerves, I guess, for anything to happen Friday night. You know, first time you get a get a hit or you know get get cut or anything like that. You know, I'm just say when they call my name, uh, go back out in the field, you know, sitting on the sideline it was pretty hard. So uh, yeah. nervous, not not really. But it's gonna be cool. Not really worried about the first time you get a hit. Nah, you know, nah. After, like after the first play, I think I'll be straight. Yeah. Since you're more physical and kind of bigger, I mean, what have you done to get more physical? How much bigger do you think you are? I just, uh, pretty big, but um, I think going over with the coaches, so I just need to get more physical, so I'm just trying to practice that more practice and stuff, and I see if we can it on. Can you study tape of like other wide receivers and watch them at the line and see how they're physical? Yeah, uh, watch Randy Moss a lot, uh, watch Jerry Rice and Terrell Owens and how they get off of the jam and everything. So just, that helped me a lot. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt that. If you've been asked, I apologize, but Coach Lee's talked about maybe you having some rust. Do you feel like, is, is that a concern for you at all, having any rust, having not played in 11 months? Um, I think so, but um, when the game when the game starts, you know, it's, it's out the door. I mean, I'm going to play full speed. Now, you know, NC State's got a pretty good corner. I mean, you, what have you seen from the long tail and uh, Amerson? 6'3", uh, guys, 120, I mean, 190, uh, four pounds. Uh, plays the deep ball real well, so we just got to take advantage of that. Uh, for me, is to beat him over the top. Is that you guys? Have you ever gone against a corner that's you know, that big, six three? No, I think. Oh well, uh, Drake or Patrick before yeah. him, but uh, probably not big as him. And Patrick Peterson was, was big, way bigger than him, but he was a little short. So. You, you expect them to kind of put Emerson on you for most of the game and kind of make the other guys step up, like the CP. And, you know, oh, I, I, I think so. Uh, but you know, I, I don't know what the game plan is against us. But, yeah. Their secondary overall, you know, Coach Julie said they had three or four NFL guys back there. Just what do you, what do you see from them aside from Emerson? And what oh, they, so they good? play the ball real well. You know, that's, that's what I, that's what I've seen. That's what I know. Um, well, that's about it. They play the ball real well. They play a lot of zone. A lot of zone. Yeah, a lot of three D. Yeah. If, if he is matched up against you a lot, I mean, you kind of relish going against a guy like that. That's yeah, it's talent on talent. So you know, it's gonna give me a good a good day, a good work workout. So. Thanks, Austin. Awesome.